Welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Kumar. I welcome you all. In this video, I'm going to talk about some major changes which has been introduced by Cisco Systems into their C certification program. So uh, these changes are going to be enforced by Cisco starting from 24th Feb 2020. All level of certifications and tracks are actually going to be affected by this. That means that including CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE, there are some changes that we'll be discussing uh, sooner in this video. Uh, just an update, guys, that CCENT and CCT, the interlevel up programs are going to be retired now because everyone in the industries are at least requiring the engineers to have at least CCNA certification. CCNA. In the CCNA programs, at the moment, there are 10 different uh, tracks which are available. You can take the CCNA exam into CCNA routing switching, cloud, collaboration, cyber ops, data center, and so on. So there are 10 different variants or 10 different uh, options that you can choose in order to take the CCNA exam. However, once the changes are applied, after that, there'll be only two different options for the CCNA exams. One would be the normal CCNA exam and another would be the Cisco certified DevNet associate. This exam would only target the audience, those who are actually trying to build their career into the development. So this is for the development guys. Uh, it's, it's more like it's more related to the programming uh, thing. However, this CCNA exam at the moment, as you can see that there are 10 different tracks of it, but after the changes, this CCNA exam would contain the questions from all these tracks. That means that you'll be tested on all these different tracks and technologies in this single CCNA exam. Some common updates are there, such as uh, the CCENT, or uh, in another words, the ICT1, the first exam for the CCNA, the code is 100-105 and the ICTN2, which is 200-105, are going to be retired and this will be replaced by one single exam as and the code for that would be 200-301. As uh, said earlier guys that all the different tracks are going to be consolidated into one single exam and you'll also be tested on the automation and programmability uh, into this exam. Some important information that you need to know that uh, you can take the CCNA exam with the current pattern which is active in the market uh, and the last day for that would be the 23rd of Feb 2020 and if you want to take the CCNA exam with the new pattern that would start from 24th of Feb 2020. So after this you can take the CCNA exam with the uh, new pattern. Uh, the recertification program, uh, the method would remain uh, the same way. Uh, you'll, you'll get three years in order to recertify your exam. And uh, engineers are expected uh, to have the scale across all the multiple tracks, as said earlier. And the CCNA exam will now cover the fundamental knowledge and skills. And the advanced topic of CCNA will be covered into the CCNP level. So the, that means that the advanced uh, topics from the CCNA course will no longer be there. These will move up to the CCNP level. CCNP. CCNP track also does have some changes in it. Uh, for the current uh, few, you can see for the current tracks, you can see that there are different eight different options that you can opt for uh, uh, if you want to give the CCNP exams. Uh, such as routing switching, cloud collaboration, data center, security service provider, wireless and design. There are no uh, cyber ops or industrial tracks for the CCNP at the moment. However, after the new change, there'll be only six different exams option available, which includes CCNP enterprise, which will cover your wired and wireless. The another would be data center, which will remain same as our current data center technology, then security service provider collaboration. And the last, this is the new exam going to be introduced, which is Cisco certified DevNet professional. I said earlier that this would be for the development team or this would be uh, for the developers. Required exam in order to pass your CCNP, 
uh, with the current pattern you actually need to uh, give ex three to four exams depending upon the track that you are giving the CCNP certification in. However, with the new pattern, you only need to give two exams to clear the CCNP certification. These two exams would be in this way that the first exam would be known as the technology core exam. This would cover the fundamental and common concept and this would test uh, your knowledge based on the same. However, the second exam, which is the concentration exam, in this exam, you'll have to have uh, the advanced knowledge of the technology and you'll be tested upon the same. There's no prerequisite for this exam. You can directly take this exam and clear your and get your CCINP certification. Uh, there are some major changes into the CCIE program as well. The current tracks available for the CCIE are as given here, like routing, switching, data center, and uh, there are seven different tracks which are available. And uh, then after the changes, the CCIE uh, would be available in data center, collaboration, security, service provider, enterprise wireless, and enterprise infrastructure, which would be the wired one. So this is something uh, new, which is going to be introduced into the CCIE system. So the required exam in order to get your CCIE number if you are planning to give your CCIE exam with the current patterns, you'll have to give two different exams. The first would be the written exam. Uh, once you qualify this written exam, or once you clear it, you are actually qualified to take the second exam, which is your lab exam. Uh, this lab exam is for eight hours, and you'll have to spend your eight hours in order to, uh, uh, you'll be tested in the different technologies based on your specific track and uh, once you clear all of them, you get your CCIE number. However, with the new pattern, you'll have to give two exams again, but this would be a little different, uh, different this time. Uh, the first exam would be the technology core exam. This would be same as CCNP, uh, wherein you'll be uh, tested uh, with your fundamental concept uh, pertaining to the technology that you are taking exam in. The second exam would be your lab exam. This lab exam is now divided into two parts. The first part would be design, and this would be there for three hours. And the second would be uh, for deployment, operate and optimize. And you'll get five hours for this. However, guys, uh, the one important information to know is that you cannot switch between these two modules. That means if you are working with design, you cannot go ahead and attempt the questions from this uh, second module. If you submit your answers uh, with the design module and start working with the second module here, and later on you realize that you need to make some changes into the answer, that would not be an option for you after this. So that means that you give your 100% into the design uh, module first and you submit the answer only when you are sure about that because you do not get the option to uh, come back to this section and make changes later on if you submit your exam for this. And uh, apart from that, also you'll be testing on automation and network program programmability as said earlier. And this is how you're going to get your CCIE number. This would be a little different as compared to the current system that we have. All right, so these were uh, some common changes which has been introduced by Cisco uh, for their certification system. If you want to, or if you are planning to take the certification uh, based on your interest, you can either choose the date with the current pattern which is available, or you can choose the date from uh, after the 24th of Feb. Uh, 2020 uh, when the new pattern will be introduced so thank you very much for watching this video guys i would request you to please like share and subscribe uh, to know more about the upcoming videos if in case you have any questions about the same please do mention that into the comment i'll be more than happy to assist thank you